What up, community? What's good, man? I'm back in here making some videos, man. I haven't been making my videos as regular as I wanted to because I've been having some trouble with my camera. You know, I've been using the camera phone here and there. And this video right here is an attempt to see if, you know, my video will upload correctly. If not, you know, I'll probably re-record it with the camera phone or what have you. But first and foremost, man, let me give a huge, huge shout out to my man, Roenick, Mr. 215, Mr. I don't give a what. <laughs> shout outs to my man, man. Happy birthday, man. I mean, for real. Real talk there, man. You know, happy birthday to you, man. It's good, like you said, man. Another year for yourself, another year for your son, your family. And that's what it's about, man. You know what I mean? I know we do this YouTube thing, but, you know, we all live our lives outside of YouTube. So, you know, shout outs to my man, man. You know, he, I, I like the fact that you big up, you know, you you talk about your son a lot. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes your son is there making a little comments. So that's cool, man. That's cool to see, man. Real, real positive stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know. You guys know, you know, a lot of people that we know, we all know them, you know, they don't, they don't really do what they're supposed to with their kids. So it's always good to see a young brother, man, do his thing. So shout out to my man. Happy birthday, man. Enjoy yourself. Wanted to get that in before, uh, you know, midnight. But anyway, back to what this video is about. Real quick video, man. Just seeing how everybody feels man how excited is everybody about the 2k11 about to drop i think the gaming community is about to light it up for a moment you know while we wait for that black ops you know i think 2k11 definitely will be in the consoles for a long time running and that's that's very good news man i think we all are gonna have good time playing this game as well as black ops so you know we'll be pacified with a couple games until the next year but, you know, I just want to see how everybody feels, man. Let me know. Leave some comments. You know, and I've been fortunate enough, you know, at least to be able to get a midnight release. I mean, yo, this game is tight seal, man. I mean, at least in my area. You know, my little local mom and pop shop, they they not even getting it until tomorrow. In most cases, you know, I know I said in my other video, or either I left a comment, you know, I thought I would have the game by now. I thought I would have it like Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. But man, I called my people. They say, oh, no, not till Tuesday. Luckily enough, I found a GameStop that's doing a midnight sale about seven minutes away from my house. You know, it's crazy. I got like four GameStops within a, <laughs> a eight-mile radius. They are the only GameStop in the area that has a midnight sale. So at least I could do that. And uh, what I might do, man, I might record a, a little bit of footage of me just jumping right into the game. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it tonight. You know, obviously, I got to get up early tomorrow, go make that money. But, you know, I'm going to play it for a minute. You know, I might play some short quarters. I just want to get a feel for it. You know, I might spend an hour with it, and that's about it. Oh, oh they talk about my man Vic here. Let me see. Michael Vic, day-to-day, -day, rib cartilage injury. Ah. He probably will be back, though. You know, I, I want to see my man Vic do well, man. You know, he, he's from my home state, man, VA, man. You know, so, you know, we, we keep it up. You know, I, I'm right out, not too far from where my man grew up at. So, you know, I'm right there in Richmond, VA. For any of you guys that didn't know, that's where I'm from. But, you know, I live in, in that D.C., Maryland area right now. So, that's, what I, that's how we do. But anyway, man. Um, yeah, I'm going to get the game, man, at, at midnight Eastern time. So, you know, we'll see. But like I said, man, let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. Leave me some comments. You see, all right now, I'm just watching football. I'm just a football fan. I watch all the games, man, best I can. I'm a little upset right now, though, man, because my steel is lost yesterday. But, you know, realistically, you know, I'm a real fan. And let me explain what I mean by that. It's this guy, man, that, that I know I argue with all the time because he, he claims to be a football fan, but he don't even know his team. He claims to be a Steelers fan, but he also is a Redskins fan because he's from D.C., right? Now, y'all tell me what y'all think about this. I there's nothing wrong with liking more than one team, but you are only a fan of one team. I am a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, but I'm a football fan, so I like to see other teams do well. 
You know, I used to like to see Philly do their thing. You know, I like to see the Saints do their thing. You know, I, I, even the Jets, you know, after watching Hard Knocks, you know, I really like Rex Ryan and the whole nine. I like to see them do their thing. But at the end of the day, I'm a Steelers fan. So this guy, you know, he's always going back and forth with the Redskins and the Steelers and blah, blah, blah. But to get to my point, you know, he, he's telling everybody we're going to win this game and this, that, and the third. And I'm trying to tell him, like, dude, if you're really a fan, you know the team. Charlie Batch ain't seen a team like Baltimore in a while. It's not going to be like these last two games. And that's just me keeping it real, assessing my own team. Like, yo, this is what it's going to be. And, you know, luckily, I mean, ironically, we almost won that game. <laughs> I was very surprised. To be honest with you guys, man, I was hoping to win at least two games while Ben was out. We got three. We three and one. We in good shape. But, you know, defense is doing their thing. Yesterday, they, they played fairly well. But, you know, man, when you play a good team, you can't. You're not going to make all the plays. And, you know, Hushmanzada, excellent double move on McFadden. And they get the win. You know, I can't be mad at that. But we were in that game. And that's looking very good for us when Big Ben comes back. I just hope he doesn't mess the chemistry up. You know, that could happen. But anyway, man, I didn't mean for this video to go too long, man. I just haven't talked to, to you guys in a while, man. <laughs> it's funny how we just talk to each other through YouTube or Xbox Live, and we never really seen each other, nothing like that. But, you know, I'll keep it real. You guys do sort somewhat feel like like a, like a family, you know, like a YouTube community, and it's cool. You know, I talk to you guys all the time, so so I want to get back on here, you know, give you guys an update of what's going on with me. You know, I'm sure after this 2K11 drops, I'll have plenty of videos, man. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here while I watch Tom Brady do his thing. Even though I really don't prefer the Patriots to win. But anyway. Alright guys, let me know what you think.